In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to make smooth play areas on terrain, especially if the terrain is digital elevation models, because those tend to have very bumpy shapes to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a terrain that I've created. This is actually for a video game that I'm working on. Now you can see this terrain, it looks pretty cool. It's mountains all around the perimeter. But if you go into the play area where the character is going to be walking, you can see that is extremely bumpy. So one of the problems you're going to have is if there's NPCs or other non-player characters in the game, they're going to have to jump all the time or are they going to get hooked on the ridges in the terrain. So what we want to do is we want to smooth this area off, this play area, without disturbing the mountains. I'll just go to higher resolution here. Now I'm on the highest resolution for this terrain you can see. You can actually see that there's a lot of bumps and little dips and valleys and stuff here in the play area where the main player and the NPCs will be walking at. So we need to smooth that stuff out without touching the mountains. So we're going to do that using the terrain stack. Now something that's coming up in 2025 is I'm going to be working on a node network system for TerraSculptor. So if you're familiar with some of the other terrain software that's out there or even Unreal Engine 5 where you're dealing with the nodes that you drag and drop into the grid area and wire them all up. We're going to have a feature like that in TerraSculptor in 2025. It's going to take me a while to work on it. Anyways, we've got our base terrain, which is this mountainscape that we've got here. So we need to add in a few devices here. I want to extract the altitude. I'll have to use a copy data map then to get that over into the mask channel, the proper channel on that. Then another copy data map to copy the original source base terrain again. And that's going to go into a blur. And then a normalize we want to normalize out after the blur. Now I can do a quick build of this here just to get the base terrains through the entire stack so I can start editing now. So for example here if I come up to the extract altitude, uh, for those who don't know, I'll just quickly go over this, for those who don't know the icon here or the thumbnail on the left is the height map or data map. The thumbnail next to it is the mask channel for that. Most devices have the ability to mask their functionality. So for example, what I'm going to be doing here with the blur is I'm going to be masking it so only the low elevations or low altitudes actually get blurred. Then the main area here over top of the text, if you double click on that, it brings up the actual full device properties that you can actually see all of the features for every device. So what we want to do to start off here is we want to get all of the low altitude data. And we want it to be a smooth edge. So I'm going to put some fall off on that. That's not bad. That'll probably work. Let's see if I can make it a little thinner. Yeah, that's better. So we'll go with 15 and 20. I don't need to do any file output here because I'm not saving this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the copy data map or device. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying the extract altitude and moving it into grabbing its result mask and moving that into the data map channel. So what that's going to be doing is that's going to be taking, if we go back to the extract altitude and we look at the device properties, you can see result mask A 
is the actual result. This is the data map. This is the result of the elevation or altitude extraction. And then the copy data map actually copies that into the, it copies that result mask A into the data map channel. Then on our next copy data map, we need to just copy the base terrain so its defaults are fine. Then we go into the blur and we're gonna do a bit of blur on this. We're gonna actually need a fair amount. Gaussian blur, 100% strength and we're gonna give it a radius of about 50. So as you can see, it's really blurred. Then of course we want to normalize the device. So now if I build this, I need to just set the mask now. The mask is the second copy data map and we need to enable it because you can see it blurred the entire thing. Now we've assigned a mask. You can see there's a mask in the mask channel. So if I build now, we have blur just in the lower area and not in the mountainous area. So if I go back to the original height map, that's what the original height map looks like. You can see it's got all these divots all over the place that are going to be areas that NPCs can hitch on when they're trying to walk around. And if I go to the blurred version, you can see they're blurred out, but the mountains are not changed. You can see if I go back to the base, the mountains don't change. Only the base area gets blurred out. And then of course I normalize it to get it back out to the full amount again. So now what I can do is I can either put a file save device after the normalize so that I can have it automatically save the file every time I build, or I can just collapse the stack to the normalized device, which is the collapse button right here. And then I can save this to a PNG 16 file for Unreal Engine, for example, or for Unity. But as you can see, what I've done now is I've totally smoothened out the play area here so that it's nice and smooth for NPCs to be able to walk on. This again is what the original looks like. This is what the smoothed looks like. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial.